Peter speaks of stirring up their minds by way of remembrance. In other words, he's telling us, you know, you have the good already in there, but if you're going to enjoy them, you've got to stir up your mind. There is a tendency to forget these things. Why do we forget things? Some of us blame it on the equipment, you know. Say, well, you know, I just don't have a very good mind. My grandfather used to say that he had a photographic memory. It just hadn't been developed yet. (laughs) Now, we tend to blame it on the equipment, but it seems to me that there are other reasons why we forget things. I think we forget some things because other things constantly encroach upon our minds. We are living in a day when our minds are being bombarded by information, when we are constantly exposed to noise pollution, the scripture says, be still and know that I am God. You can't stand in an elevator. You can't walk through a shopping mall. You can't go anywhere hardly today without hearing noise. And it tends to distract us, doesn't it? And it is virtually impossible to think about two things at once. And the enemy's intent is to keep us occupied with things that may be good in themselves, but are short of God's best. The renewing of the mind is part of the process of sanctification. And as we yield to the Spirit of God, as we allow the Word of God to filter through our minds, it has a purifying effect, doesn't it? Remember the illustration of the man who saw a young fellow who was a bit simple and he was down by the river and he had a sieve and he was putting the sieve into the river and pulling it out and all the water was running through. And the man said, you won't take much water home with that. And he said, no, but look how clean the sieve is. And we sometimes feel like our minds are like sieves and they're not keeping much when we study the word. But as we occupy ourselves with the word of God, the process purifies our minds, doesn't it? It gives us God's perspective on things. It brings this world into sharp relief. And what may appear to be a very attractive system, we are told, is lying in the lap of the wicked one. A kind of a Samson and Delilah picture, you know. And the world is saying, come here, lie down, relax, take it easy, enjoy it. It's great. Welcome. But just behind the scenes is the barber waiting to clip away our strength and bring us into bondage to the enemy. Stir up your pure mind by way of remembrance.